Hey everybody and welcome to the simplest and quickest tutorial you'll find on OBS recording software. My goal is to make you as proficient as you need to be in the software in the shortest amount of time without all the fluff and nonsense. So what better place to begin all of this than by starting off with the absolute very beginning. First thing you have to do is go to your preferred web browser, search OBS recording software, and click on the download link from their website. Proceed to download the installer, run it, and follow through to completion. Now that you've got it installed and opened up on your main screen, you're going to simply follow these next few steps to get yourself to a point where you're ready to begin recording or streaming. This first video is going to focus on creating your scenes by utilizing your sources properly and interpreting your audio mixer. A scene is a grouping of resources that displays on your screen and over your audio if you have separate audio sources, which we will go over in a later video. To create a scene, you will click the little plus sign at the bottom of the scenes box and name it whatever you like. For this, I'll name it Demo. As you can see, there aren't any sources to the right, so we're going to have to begin by adding some. A source is an individual item that contributes to a single aspect of your recording or your stream. To add a source, you'll do the same thing you did for the scene. Hit the plus sign at the bottom and then select the category that's needed. There's a long list, so we're going to keep this basic. Let's say that you're going to stream a game. You'll need one of two capture sources depending on the game, as some games don't register to the game capture and will need to be detected via the display capture. This would be an uncommon issue that you would normally see with a game that was brand new. Game Capture will open a window that requires you to select the mode. This is how it's going to detect what to display. The best way to get a consistently good experience with this is to select Capture Specific Window and move down to the Window Options underneath Mode and select the program you wish to be displaying. If it registers properly, you'll see that it will display on the preview window of OBS. Alternatively, you can use a Display Capture option which will open a window to select which display you will pick. Choose whichever monitor is your gaming monitor. In my case, it's Display 1, also labeled as Primary Monitor. The last piece to get your basics out of the way is to add your third source, your audio input capture. This is your microphone. When you select it, a window will pop up asking which device you'll be using. If your mic is already your default, select Default. If it's not, you can choose it in the dropdown. Your audio mixer is where you'll see all of your audio channels, which are the things that your software will record and what your stream will hear. You can adjust your individual volumes in this panel and even apply filters to help prevent a poor audio experience. After all, you should want your voice to be heard clearly over the game, but you shouldn't want to drown it out, nor should you want to be drowned out by the game by not being able to be heard properly. Your default PC audio will typically be labeled as your audio output hardware, which in my case is simply called speakers. I relabel mine to be PC audio so that it's clear that all of the audio on my computer will come from a single channel in a single audio file whenever recorded. It is possible to record all of your audio in separate channels, but in order to do that, it's a bit more complicated, so we're going to go over that in a different video. Your default audio input or microphone will be simply labeled as audio input capture. You can rename it to be mic or microphone or the brand of the microphone, whichever makes it easy for you to recognize. In order to ensure that my game is loud enough for my videos and that I still come across clearly, I right click my PC audio, choose filters and add a limiter with the plus sign at the bottom of the pop-up window. For me specifically, I like to have it at a negative 9.6 decibel which works really well for the volume at which I speak. You can adjust it up or down as you like to suit your own voice. If you've followed me through this video and you've done each of these things that I've described in here, you should have your preview of your game or display in your first scene, your microphone attached and working, as well as your slight adjustment to PC audio to mic audio so that you're able to be heard clearly. If you want to learn more on how to set up your streaming and recording settings properly, feel free to click on the next video in this playlist as we're going to go over that information specifically. The further down we go, the more advanced of a setup you will have, and the more you'll understand how easy it is to use the software once you've been walked through it properly. If you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel to help the algorithm discover the content. Feel free to share it with your friends who are looking to get into streaming and recording if you think this will be helpful for them as well. Happy gaming!